welcome everyone today we have with us shivam kansal who is a software engineer at fair portal so we will ask about him about his experience at fair portal fair portal for those of you who don't know is an international company based in 195 plus country and deals in travel and tourism shivam is all shivam has also been a, a chairperson of ieee csdtu we will ask him about his experience in ieee and how his Uh, position of responsibility as a chairperson in IEEE helped him uh, in interviews of Fair Portal. So, uh, Shivam, would you like to uh, talk about your company and your experience at the company uh, till now? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi, Pat. So, uh, so as uh, Pat introduced, thank you for the introduction. So, uh, I'm uh, I'm currently a software engineer at Fair Portal. and uh, talking about fair portal it is an online travel industry which is as far as said it's situated in 195 plus countries and have seven uh, seven travel brands uh, named the cheapo air main main are cheapo air and one travel so uh, talking about my uh, experience in fair portal till now so i joined fair portal in december 2020 as a software developer intern and com- after upon completing my six month internship i got an offer of a full time offer so now currently i am software engineer at fair portal so uh, discussing about my interviews uh, so this was an on campus opportunity for me at dtu uh, talking about the interview experience so basically uh, it, there were four rounds in which three were the tech rounds and one was the hr round uh the three were first were uh, first one was an online assessment based on uh, data structures and algorithm and the other two parts were the tech uh, interviews uh the first one out of which was a tech round with a manager manager as well so and the second was a uh, purely data structures and algorithm interview and third uh, and the last fourth one was an hr interview okay uh, so Uh, Shivam, as you said, uh, there was a managerial round in your interview. So, could you tell more about managerial round and your experience in the same, and how what type of questions were asked in uh, the same? Yeah, sure, Pat. So, uh, in the managerial round, basically, uh, they are asked about uh, about the development, the personality development questions, such as. how the person could manage the teams work um, not in manage but uh, uh, like how the person can work in a team and also uh, like uh, how is his behavior uh, to the uh, to the work so there there was the general question only okay that's great uh, so now shivam let's move on to your uh, preparation strategy for cracking the company what kind of resources did you use to crack uh, or clear the rounds of fair portal and what helped you in clearing the rounds uh, so yeah so uh, basically uh, like uh, as i am a btech student from btu so the preparation starts from the first year where uh, in the first year i explored uh, different fields such as uh, web development machine learning data structures and algorithms and later uh, like for the uh, placement perspective i uh, practice data structures and algorithm questions from interview bit and lead code and also uh, gave some contest on code sets uh, with that for the development i uh, as you said that i am a part of ieee dtu so uh, with the help of seniors and the projects that i got being in ieee it helped me building my resume of development where uh, like i was also a web development coordinator in third year so uh, this goes for the development profile that i have in and in the and currently in the company also i'm the software developer i'm the part of the software developer team that's great uh, so shivam let's now dive into what your schedule was during your preparation uh how did you prepare how did you manage time during the day so what time you get got up and let's go into the detail and so that 
everyone watching this video has a good insight of how they can plan their uh, schedule just before the placement season yeah sure so uh, basically in general on an on campus placement i am talking about so we usually get 2 to 3 months uh, after the semester exams end so i would say like uh, first of all you should uh, build your resume which is a must because uh, the interview goes around the, the part of interview goes around on your inter, uh, on your resume so uh, you should firstly have some decent project i would say uh, at least two to three projects should be there of a decent level uh, by the decent level i mean uh, like the ones which our peers are doing or basically general ones that we can do in whatever field you like basically you can do it in machine learning web development or the blockchain you may say so like that you can do it in any field that you like also uh, with that firstly like uh, uh, talking about my experience so i built a uh, project in web development with the uh, with a team that i have in matlab with my friends in the college and uh, later part like with that uh, i would say you should practice some questions on ds algo on a regular basis like a regular basis at least you can try to achieve a target that i'll do five questions 10 questions 15 question whatever your level is and whatever uh, whether you are if you are beginner you can practice some easy to medium questions uh, in average of 10 to 15 and later you can uh, increase it okay yeah, that that was like it, it was uh, like the only was my show okay great so you uh, like there are many people who want who run after paid courses or paid resources but uh, you only prepared through free resources so there are many people who don't know the free resources that are available in abundance so would you like to share those free resources and then we can probably share the links in the description uh, after the video yeah sure but so basically uh... the resources that i could say there are many free resources available uh, that from which we can learn obviously the first one is obviously youtube where you can uh, like learn anything that you want so uh, talking about the tech interviews so the basically the questions are asked from uh, database structures uh, object oriented programming operating systems system design so uh, collecting all these things you can find good videos on uh, youtube itself from where you can prepare and uh, for the general aptitude question on the online test you can uh, go to indiabigs.com that is a very great resource and for the coding questions you can go for uh, lead code interview bit and you can all, uh, always reference geeks for geeks for that yeah so, geeks these are pretty much free free courses that you can have Geek yeah, for Geek is the Bible for anyone who wants to prepare. Everything is available for free, of course. So that's a great resource. Yeah. Also, we have DBMS operating system, SQL, uh, SQL uh, introduction knowledge about on that also on Geek for Geek. Even yeah, W3 uh, schools is a good resource for SQL. Yeah, for development, if you are thinking like uh, it's a very great resource. W3 schools is a very great resource for the development perspective. So uh, I can share you some links that I have, so you can put up in the description. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, also, uh, Shivam, like uh, you did development mostly in React, even other technologies as well. So uh, walk us through your uh, experience of development and uh, how did you learn development? How hard was it for you to learn development? And uh, how did it help you in cracking interviews? So all these questions. Okay, so uh, talking about uh, the initial phase. So in the second year, I explored. Uh, in the second year starting, I explored the field of development, web development basically, with some uh, courses that my senior gave to me. Uh, that was some Udemy courses that you can get. Uh, with that, uh, with that, uh, like in the in development, the thing, the basic thing is the practice. if you practice the thing you automatically gets get the hand on experience and you learn with that 
like uh, for the development we know that stack overflow is the god for development yeah right? yeah. yeah so uh, so and uh, the uh, starting you can uh, like go through the videos on youtube also uh, like i started the uh, learning about react that was uh, very that is a very uh, uh, very uh, useful for uh, web development and later on like uh, with the projects that i have with the ieee team also and with my friends i made the projects so basically uh, i would say that uh, everyone should uh, not just learn or basically see the videos uh, of web web development it won't help much but if you go with a hands on experience you you can you can definitely learn it in a better way like you can uh, talk to your friends and learn together and go for a project like you can go for a simple project like making a blog site a simple blog site where basically you will need a uh, two three you can make it in just a team of two three people so it is a great starting if you go by this and later on you can uh, shortly increase it and make your idea convert into like uh, like in the production yeah maybe then you can go, go for a startup or something if your idea is amazing or something yeah yeah, yeah that that's okay uh shiva one more thing i wanted to ask you let's talk about like there are two uh, kinds of people in uh, btech one who do development and the other who do data structures and algorithms yeah competitive, competitive. program yeah and both of them we see that have cracked pretty good companies so what's your opinion on that which one is a better path or it's nothing like that or how do you see this situation um uh, truly speaking uh like there is a trade off between you have to balance both the things like data okay. structures and algorithm is equally important as the development okay. but you cannot like just ignore the development and go for just the ds algo thing obviously like uh, some companies just ask for ds algo but for in general most of the companies uh, you will see both the development and the data structures are equally important what would you say about this so uh, my personal opinion is uh, like yeah of course i mean it's good to have a balance of both but mostly when you sit for on campus placements and your target is like those big fang companies or those companies then uh, data structures and uh, algorithms take the front seat and when if if your aim is like working in a dynamic environment and you want to go to a startup and take risks in your life then you can go for development so it's upon yeah. you and the most important thing is of course what you like you can explore both of these fields in your first or second year and then whatever you like you can choose that field yeah yeah uh, so yeah let's move on to your experience at ieee so shivam as we talked you are the chairperson of ieee csjtu and so uh would you like to talk about this like how your experience at ieee csjtu uh helped you in your interviews and uh how were the seniors at ieee csjtu and uh, uh just walk through all the go- good or the bad parts about um, being the chairperson of ieee yeah so uh, like i joined ieee gtu in the first semester the first year of the college and uh, with this like i was new to the college so uh, so talking about talking to senior was like uh, having a great experience uh, because uh, as i told they gave us the best uh, knowledge uh, with that uh, on on further years like it helped me building my personal personality development uh, as i talked like i did projects with my ieee team so it helped me building my projects also uh, like later on like as currently i'm the chairperson of ieee computer society gtu so it gives me the responsibility to manage my team and to uh, and i help them in whatsoever they need so it overall uh, makes your team leader which is obviously helpful for a company interview it helps a lot in the company in the case and like in the life also 
yeah yeah definitely it's a good experience uh, i would yeah. say uh, yeah so uh, shivam uh, would you like to give any suggestions to junior who are preparing for tech placements or who have just entered college and want to uh, know like if they should join societies or uh, how should they prepare for tech placements anything any suggestions you have for junior okay so uh, like as a beginner if you are in first year or just moved on to second year i would say uh, like you should firstly explore all the fields that you can so that you know that what you like and what you don't first of all uh, like i expect that in second ending or third year starting you will uh, get the interview for, for the internship as well as uh, in the later you will get the interview for the placement so in that in, in that part you should be consistent towards your work and maintaining a good cgpa is also required to because yeah. there are cut off for the companies so you should you have to balance both the thing the college thing as well as the preparation so uh, the college thing you can consist you can uh, like manage by like uh, like studying around uh, two weeks is enough i guess before the exam yeah for the for the to maintain a good cgpa and uh, with that like uh, for the interviews you should be consistent like if you see that i'm not able to manage things in the college you can uh, like make your work schedule and with that you can practice like two to three at least two to three questions during your uh, college like also and later in the holidays you can like increase your efforts to maximum and always be confident while giving the interview because confidence matters a lot when you are giving an interview okay yeah thanks thanks very much shivam for the interview it was very insightful i hope for everyone watching this so if you like the video then do consider subscribing liking and sharing the same uh, and uh, do follow me on instagram if you want to know about the updates of uh, any new videos that i would upload uh, thanks everyone thank you bhat also uh... like you are doing a great help for to the juniors so please like and subscribe his channel and comment on his videos yeah all the best to every those who are watching the videos thank you yeah thank you bye